I bet you're wondering, what does this have to do with this and this? Well, I've been tired of living with the travesty that is my musky bucket here. But it is time. It is time to move on to graduate to a big boy box. Now, I don't like spending stupid amounts of money on a stupid fish that I can barely catch to begin with. So instead of buying a super fancy, nice tackle box by Lakewood, I decided to follow a tutorial that I saw by, I believe it was Wisconsin Fisherman, I think. I think that's the good old boy's name. Fun, just a fine, fine young gentleman. Was able to turn one of these from old Wally World using a couple of these bad boys into a pretty decent looking musky tackle box. So we'll, uh, we're gonna give it a go. Yeah. St strap on in, strap, strap on in, strap young lads. I think that's the one. I think that's it. Those are trail. Got a bit of a hard body to it. I think that's it. All right, target acquired. All right, got the base for our musky tackle box. On our way over to Maynard, grab some that PVC drain pipe stuff that'll uh, finish off the box. We'll head on over there now. We've done it. Got the PVC downspout. We're gonna go hut her up, put her in the box. Might use a little, and get this in the truck, get cleaned up, and I'll see you in the shop. So the idea here is, is that you're gonna get an ideal amount of these to sit in here just like this, stack that way and that way, of course, and you'll be able to put a couple of notches in them to where they will fit just right, to where you can then take these guys, put them in there. And that'll be this nice little case. You can zip her up. You got little little pockets on the side. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to cut now. Okay, bye. All right. So first, you're gonna mark off where you want your cut to be. And I'm going a bit shallower than the actual box itself. But once you get that done, you made your first mark you can just go ahead and use that piece as your guide for the rest of them. Now I'm using a less than ideal method here because I don't have power tools, but you could use them. You can definitely use them. It'd make this a lot easier. See, just like that. And, and then that's a start and you go from there. So this right here, all I'm doing now is uh, just kind of hitting it with some sanding paper and a pad. Just to kind of, you know, these weren't the best cuts, but I'm going to make it look nice. Best I can, you know, with what I got. So yeah. Just going to do that for a minute. So here's a super cool fun part. Now you get to arrange it however you want. I want to have a couple of bigger spaces just for like husky deuces, stuff like that. But uh, like me, you may find that one of those pieces of that piping isn't quite enough. And that's okay. There's going to be a way around that. So I've already thought of it and calm down. Everything's going to be fine. But you're going to just kind of play with your configurations here for a minute. Kind of see what you like, what you don't like. Because everyone's box is going to be a little bit different. Yeah, just keep playing around with it until it kind of fits the way you want it to. Like I said, everyone's box is going to be a little bit different. I do have a little bit of a secret weapon though. What I'm gonna do to get this to fit a little tighter once I get it close to where I want it to be. And I think it's just about there. So I'm gonna show you that secret weapon. It's floor foam. My secret weapon's always floor foam. 
EVA foam, whatever you want to call it. But play mat foam. Basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of cut this to approximate size. This is going to snug everything up just a bit. bam just like that everything is snugged up now I'm probably gonna do the same for the other side here just to make sure everything stays nice and snug but it's looking pretty good so far but now the next part we're gonna move on to is cutting the notches and kind of tying all these together because these are gonna want to do this we're gonna want to stop that so I'm gonna use zip ties <laughs> so I'll show you how I'm gonna do that here in a second but I, I think it's a pretty creative solution here
All right, that part's done. As you can see here, it's nice and stiff now. And it will fit inside snugly. There you go. So the last thing, the last thing that I have left to do here is uh, just cut some hook slots in here and um, trade a rock. All right, now that you've made an absolute mess of everything, you can begin assembly. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lunk this guy in here. We're gonna take our foam, scooch her in right there. Now, as you can see, everything's nice and tight. It doesn't wanna go anywhere. The best part is you can start organizing all your shiny new musky lures so now you can have all your favorite blades ready to go there you go you can have all your diving rises ready to rock Even the odd spoon, your favorite cranks, something you got off of Wish. There you go, buddy. The most ridiculous thing you can find because you were interested in trying to catch something on it. Luckily, we got those extra big slots over here for this one. And then that one bait that everyone else says is working real good, but she really hates throwing it because it's stupid and big. It's big and big and heavy and makes my arm hurt. That goes in there too. Just like that. And that one bait that definitely looks like that other bait, but you got it in a mystery tackle box. Neat. You go, buddy. There you are. Well, look at that. Isn't that neat? That's Super Neato Supremo. And the best part is, got this nice pouch right here in the front. Don't forget, it's sucker season, boys. Just gonna tuck those in there and, oh, hey, look at this. Oh, and, and your, your tools. And just just like that and you're ready to rock um, I don't know where mine are but that's where they'd be so yeah that's pretty much it I mean I finally gotten to a point where I have enough uh, musky lures that maybe I should have gotten a box for them. So here's the box for them. Uh, and now they're not just flopping all over the place. And I kind of look like I know what I'm doing a little bit. So now this is where all my musky gear is going to be until, you know, it doubles inevitably. Uh, and I'm going to put this I'm gonna put this to good use here soon. Um, nice part is, is that the lining is rubber or plastic as well, so you can just pull it out. You know, if it gets soaked, everything can just dry off. You can just now you can just pull that entire insert out. You can pull all your baits out at once, uh, so it's pretty neat like that. Um, so if you need to just dry everything off, out it comes. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and call this one done and I hope you liked it I hope you can get some use out of this um, can do something with it and I hope you get the addiction to um, 
because it's a lot of fun not catching anything all day every day when you say you're gonna go out for a thing and it doesn't happen super fun I love it uh, that being said Tell me about your musky adventures. I want to hear about your guys' stories. Also, big shout out to uh, Max, Gus, and Brian over at the Muskies on Tap podcast uh, for giving me a shout out the other day. Uh, you guys are super cool. I like listening to you. Uh, and and you, you, you catch big fish. I like that. I like that about you. I like the cut of your jib. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you guys, fish more, get on the water.